हेलो फ्रेंड्स यर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सी अ प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू डायनेमिक विस्कोसिटी ऑफ ऑयल यर वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन कैलकुलेट द डायनेमिक विस्कोसिटी ऑफ एन ऑयल व्हिच इज यूज्ड फॉर लुब्रिकेशन बिटवीन अ स्क्वायर प्लेट ऑफ साइज 0.8 मीटर इनटू 0.8 मीटर एंड एन इंक्लाइन प्लेन विथ एंगल ऑफ इंक्लीनेशन थर्टी डिग्री एज शोन इन फिगर द डायग्राम इज प्रोवाइडेड The weight of the square plate is 300 newton, and it slides down the plane with a uniform velocity of 0.3 meter per second. Thickness of the oil film is 1.5 mm. Now this is the question we have, where we have to find the dynamic viscosity of oil. Whatever is given here, we will write that in the form of data first. So let us start with this problem. Here in given data, I'll read the question again. Calculate the dynamic viscosity of an oil. Dynamic viscosity is denoted by mu. So we have to find out the dynamic viscosity of an oil, which is used for lubrication between a square plate of size 0.8 meter into 0.8 meter. This is the area of the square plate given. We can say cross section area of the square plate. So capital A. It is equal to 0.8 into 0.8. That comes out to be 0.64 meter square. And an inclined plane with angle of inclination 30 degree, as shown in figure. The diagram is also given here. Weight of the square plate is 300 newton. So W. That is equal to 300 newton, and it slides down the plane with a uniform velocity of 0.3 meter per second. The velocity is indicated in the diagram. U is equal to 0.3 meter per second. It is sliding down. So I'll write the value. Thickness of oil film is 1.5 mm. Here the thickness is also given. So I'll write T is equal to 1.5 mm, or we can write it as 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 meter. Now, this much is the data which is given. Along with that, I'll draw this diagram again. Here in this diagram, we have an inclined plane. whose inclination is 30 degree and over that plane a plate is kept which is square in shape now between the plane and the square plate there is an oil film oil film thickness of this oil film is given T it is equal to 1.5 mm. Now, the velocity of the plate, which is sliding down, u is equal to 0.3 meter per second. Next, the weight of the plate is given. Weight would be acting in the downward direction. W is equal to 300 newton. Now. since this weight is acting downward it is on an inclined plane so we would be getting two components of weight one component which is parallel to the plane and the other which is perpendicular to the plane so here i have weight and the two components would be one which is parallel which i am showing in red in color and the other one which is perpendicular so weight is divided into two components now the component which is perpendicular to the plane that we can neglect or that we cannot consider because it would not be used in the problem but we are only interested in the component of weight which is sliding along the plane now this component of weight would, would be since this angle is 30 degree so here the component of weight along the plane that will become W sine thirty degree. 
this is the component of weight which is acting parallel to the plane and it is acting in the downward direction now while solving the problem we are going to consider this component which is parallel so i'll start the solution for this i'll write down since the force acting along the plane the force acting along the plane is equal to component of weight parallel to the plane therefore force acting along the plane is equal to f and that is equal to component of weight which is parallel to the plane and that is w sin 30 so here i'll put the value w is 300 so 300 sin 30 the answer of f it comes out to be which i have here it is 150 newton so therefore f is equal to 150 Newton now after getting the force which is acting al along the plane here in the question they are saying that we have to calculate dynamic viscosity of oil and for dynamic viscosity of oil we even need to know the shear stress which is acting parallel to the plane so here I'll say that since shear stress is given by shear stress is given by tau is equal to force upon area here I'll put the values force it is 150 area 0.64 so from this I'll get the value of shear stress my answer is it is 150 divided by 0.64 and here I'll keep it as it is that is I'll keep 150 by 0.64 Newton per meter square I'll keep it as it is because I'll use this in the formula again so after this I'll say that also we know that shear stress is given by the formula it is mu into du by dy so i'll use this value again so this is the formula of shear stress which is the formula from newton's law of viscosity so into the bracket i'll write down it is from newton's law of viscosity so therefore i'll go on putting the values here instead of shear stress i'll write down 150 upon 0.64 so 150 divided by 0.64 is equal to mu into du by dy du is the velocity here and since only one velocity is given that is u is equal to 0.3 so du value is 0.3 divided by dy here we have dy and the value is in the question the thickness of the plate is nothing but this is equal to dy because this much is the thickness of oil film so here dy is 1.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 so now mu is the question I'll keep mu on one side here I have 150 multiplied by 1.5 this will go on to the other side into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 0 0.64 into 0 0.3 so from this if I calculate numerator upon denominator my answer of mu comes out to be 1.17 newton, newton second per meter square so this much is the dynamic viscosity of oil we are getting and with this we complete the problem